So hello everyone and welcome back to WS2 API Manager series. My name is Kumar Kaurav and I would like to thank you so much for showing your love towards my channel. So in this session we will see how to do installation of WS2 API Manager version 4. So before we proceed for the installation there are some prerequisites need to be fulfilled. So let's see what are the prerequisites. There are some hardware requirements. So for hardware requirements, uh, there are two options. So either you are having a physical machine, typically it could be a laptop or a, a physical uh, desktop computer, or you are having a virtual machine uh, where you will be uh, doing the installation of API Manager 4. So uh, this is uh, basically uh, covering the basic installation of API Manager 4 so that you can see uh, how uh, does the product get installed. Uh, I'm not covering any of the deployment patterns. Uh, maybe I will be covering in in the future tutorials. But yes, for this session, this would be a basic installation of API Manager 4. So for physical machine, this is uh, the minimal requirement uh, or the recommended requirement uh, you have to fulfill. So this is the processor, the 4 GB RAM, 10 GB of the hard disk space. And recommended is minimum two core CPU would suffice. And if you're having a virtual machine, then again, uh, two core CPU, 4 GB RAM and 10 GB hard disk space. Okay, so let's proceed for other requirements, which is a software requirement. So for software requirements, uh, we need two core components. One is Java and second one is API Manager uh, binaries. So once you have installed the uh, Java or the JDK, uh, with API Manager 4, you can go with the JDK 11. So I have shared the links which you can refer to downloading the uh, respective Java version archive from uh, java.net and you have to set the Java home environment variable because this variable is getting kicked during the bootstrapping of the WSO2 API Manager server. Next you have to download the WSO2 API Manager binaries. So the recommended way is to go to API Manager uh, official WSO2 official site and navigate to API Management link. Currently, WSO2 provides two ways you can download the binaries. One is the open source, which you can refer to the GitHub repository. And second is the uh, the official uh, WSO2 supported uh, the repository where uh, you would need to provide your uh, the corporate email address only because WSO2 has now uh, supporting the email uh, based link for downloading the binary packs. Okay, so yeah, so these are the prerequisites you should having in handy uh, for before you proceed for the installation. Next, uh, the the product installation. So once you have downloaded the binaries pack, uh, which is typically a zip file. So the the way we the day the way API Manager works is that you have to extract the zip file, and uh, the extracted uh, zip file uh, the root directory is so called as API home or API manager home directory and you have to navigate inside the bin directory using the command line and you have to start the server using the below commands which is api manager bat for windows and api manager sh for linux and mac so with api manager 4 the uh, the startup script has changed to api manager sh api api dash manager sh as opposed to the previous versions of api manager that was using wso2 carbon.sh or wso2 carbon.bat okay so once the installation is getting completed you have to verify the installation so here are the basic steps you can verify your installation whether it has been uh, done successfully or there are some issues you need to fix so the very first thing you need to check the wso2 carbon.log file regarding the server startup it definitely says the message that server startup it will show you the bootstrapping timing the server startup time and uh, you can verify uh, the the portals access using the uh, the url which is www https localhost 9443 so this is assuming this is installed on your local machine and a local laptop or the the machine where it is using the localhost okay so once this is done we are good to uh, navigate to respective portals but uh, we'll covering those uh, the portal walkthrough in separate session 
so now finally we are good for the demo so in this demo we will be covering the product installation and accessing the portal so let's get started so uh, now it's time to demo so uh, as we discussed uh, in the presentation like we have to download the java so you can download the java archive from open jdk so due to the compliances and other uh, regulations so i would suggest to have a open jdk to be used you can also download the oracle jdk okay so there are the different versions available you can refer to the version 11 respective binaries you can download and set up in your respective machine so i'm using mac os so i have uh, the respective binaries installed on my laptop next is to download the api manager uh, binary pack the first option is to navigate to the official website if you go to click on the try now option it will ask you to provide a corporate email so once you provide your corporate email details they will send you the download link on your uh, person on, on your corporate email to download the binary pack the zip archive will be downloadable only through that link sent on email okay so this is basically for the support based uh, wso2 supported uh, the version next wso2 also provides the open source version which is api manager version 4.1 so you can check it out the github repo of wso2 api manager and uh, if you open this you will find the source code along with the latest version okay so here are the instructions as well but uh, <laughs> the constraint is with this version that you will get a source code so once you get the source code you have to build the uh, the pack using the maven command so that's a separate step you can uh, uh, you can try it out but uh, for the i have already built uh, the uh, the api manager zip package using the maven build command if you want more information on that uh, please post your queries in the comment section and i will share the steps how you can build the uh, uh, the the api manager binary pack from there okay so now so we have api manager version 4 binary pack handy with us and this is the structure of the api manager binary so if you go to the root directory you will find inside the root directory we have a bin directory we have a backup we have a db scripts db scripts is basically for uh, different uh, database related scripts if you are using mysql if you are using ms sql if you are using oracle so you will find the scripts over there okay so there are different scripts against respective databases are there bin directory contains the core uh, the functionality related uh, the components and along with the startup script that is api manager.sh api manager.bat okay and uh, then we have some instructions here we have a lib directory where respective the binaries are placed there okay we have a repository directory which contains different subdirectories like uh, tenant information resources under which we have other uh, product related features along with the security certificates all the stuffs log related informations are stored typically inside the log directory and uh, wso2 carbon.log is the main file which is uh, uh, logging all the uh, data respect to the carbon and the gateway related errors are logged here we have the api.log audit log correlation log all logs are you can find it here we have a deployment directory which contains the server and the synapse config and web apps all the portal related artifacts are placed over here okay these are the main uh, like uh, the features or are that are used on the day-to-day -day basis by the developer or the administrator we have updates uh, directory contains the update information once we update the api manager product okay so now so we have the binary available and uh, we have to st start this script so we'll go back to the ter terminal window okay so we have to take this script or uh, we'll have to go to the path we'll go to the cd okay and check it out uh, so we can just make sure Sorry. 
so my laptop is having jdk 1.8 installed however you can use jdk 11 as well uh, wsoto api manager is supported by both of the jdk the current the version 4.1 okay so not to get confused with this so let's start our api manager since i'm using the mac so this should start over so so this is showing my jdk home that was set and let's see how the server gets started you can see the logs the respective components are getting started you can see uh, the timing of respective operations along with the uh, logging messages like which is the info which is a warning which is error message in case you find some error message then there is, might be some issue with the server startup you'll find more details regarding the error message and you can investigate accordingly okay so by default it is using the embedded uh, h2 database for uh, the development purpose we can have the all-in-one uh, setup so ws2 provides h2 powered database for the default as a default database we can also change the database to the uh, mysql oracle ms sql so the scripts are also provided by ws2 itself so we have to use those scripts for setting up the databases users permissions you can also refer to the documentation how to set up those databases okay yeah so the important thing we need to see that if our server has started we should see some success message okay so there are things going on okay so you can see the carbon management console url is this and the developer portal and the publisher url okay these are the other logs and uh, so yeah so you can see the verification like this carbon server has started in 80 seconds okay that means our server has started now let's use the different uh, or for the sake of this testing we can use if we use even if we use up to this so our url should go directly to the publisher node okay cool so that means uh, the log message shows the clear instruction that our product has installed successfully we have got the message startup time alongside the uh, the different uh, urls to access the different portals okay so let me show the carbon portal as well localhost 9443 carbon with https so the carbon console is also open let me open the developer portal okay so developer portal has also opened currently no apis are there okay so the default password which is of a admin admin just to see okay cool so that means our product has been installed on my local machine successfully so this completes the product installation and the verification part okay so thank you so much uh, for your time and stay tuned for upcoming hands-on lab uh, exercises on wso 2 api manager version 4 you can also refer to my blog links for useful contents regarding uh, wso 2 api manager and official api manager documentation as well